All right, FTC blasts Microsoft for Game Pass tiers. This is also great news. We should have probably oh, talked yeah, about probably it. Should. All right, so yeah. I'm going to skip down as the original story, and up is Microsoft's response. Uh, the Federal Trade Commission, FTC, has slammed Microsoft's Xbox Game Pass tier changes as a degraded product, citing that by removing the most valuable games from Microsoft's new service, Microsoft has delivered exactly the sort of consumer harm from the merger the FTC had alleged. Microsoft confirmed sweeping changes, including price increases to its Xbox Game Pass subscription service earlier this month. The change comes ahead of October's launch of Black Ops 6, uh, which blops. will include blops, which will include the removal of day one releases for its overhauled basic tier. The FTC's filing with the U.S. Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals added that Microsoft's announcement shows why it's necessary to halt mergers to fully evaluate their likely uh, competitive effects and is inconsistent with what Microsoft said when the FTC initially intervened to prevent its acquisition of Activision Blizzard. Product degradation, removing the most valuable games from Microsoft's new service, combined with price increases for existing users, is exactly the sort of consumer harm from the merger the FTC has alleged, the filing said. Microsoft's price increases and product degradation, combined with Microsoft's reduced investments in output and product quality via employee layoffs, are the hallmarks of a firm exercising market power post-merger. Microsoft promised that the acquisition would benefit consumers by making Call of Duty available on Microsoft's Game Pass on the day it is released on console with no price increase for the service based on the acquisition. Earlier this year, the FTC claimed that it uh, plans to lay off... Sorry. Earlier this year, FTC claimed that its planned layoff of... 1,900 people across Xbox and Activision Blizzard went against what was said in court last year in regards to how Activision will remain structurally independent. In continuing its up op its opposition to the deal, the FTC ignores the reality that the deal itself has substantially changed, a Microsoft spokesperson said in a statement to Eurogamer. Uh, since the FTC lost in court last July, Microsoft was required by the UK Competition Authority to restructure the acquisition globally and therefore did not acquire the cloud streaming rights to Activision Blizzard games in the United States. Additionally, Sony and Microsoft signed a binding agreement to keep Call of Duty on PlayStation uh, on even better terms than Sony had before. So, long story short, the FTC... Uh, when we, we talked about how Microsoft had changed Game Pass seemingly for the worse, making it more expensive, introducing a tier that did not have day one games. Yeah, we uh, talked about that pretty extensively on the show. Yeah. Uh, it started with not having day one games, yeah. which is, we, we opened the show with that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Microsoft seemed to be uh, one of the worst offenders because their whole thing with Game Pass was you can get ga uh, first party games day one on Game Pass. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, Starfield came out, the Redfall came out, and For Forza came out. For I almost called it Forfa. Yeah. <laughs> uh, when those games came out, you had to pay to play them early. Yes, uh, and now Game Pass has introduced a tier where you don't even get that. You do not get new games day one at all. Yeah, well, yeah that was a, a leak that happened uh, yeah. that we talked about. And then it was confirmed. And then they also raised the price. Yeah. And all of this shit. And then the FTC, uh, the FTC comes along and basically agreed with us. You know, like, hey, this is bullshit. Yeah. So what grounds does the FTC have to say, like, uh, oh, because... Because when the whole, like, lawsuit first happened, when they were trying to acquire Activision Blizzard, yeah. the FTC said, are you going to do shady shit like raise the price of Game Pass and hold back games from entering in Game Pass? Microsoft said, no. Yeah, because uh, they are becoming a monopoly. Yeah. Uh they basically just bought the biggest game on the planet. Mm -hmm. uh, and now they are going to charge a premium for you to play that game. Yeah. So uh, that is uh, why monopolies are bad. So yes. the FTC is like, are you going to do monopoly things? And Microsoft's like, no. no. And then they did. So the FTC is like, hey, remember we talked about this? Yeah. Uh, so Microsoft uh, has hit back. This is an update. Uh, they have hit back against the FTC saying it is wrong and misleading to call its revised Game Pass tiers degraded and stating the commission barely mentioned concerns about subscriptions at the trial. Earlier this month, Microsoft announced changes to its gaming subscription service, Game Pass, to provide customers uh, valuable options at different price points, Microsoft said in court papers filed uh, Friday, July 19th. 
Microsoft is offering a new service tier, Game Pass Standard, which offers access to hundreds of back catalog games and multiplayer functionality for $14.99 a month. It is wrong to call this a degraded version of the discontinued Game Pass for console offering. That discontinued product did not offer multiplayer functionality, which had to be purchased separately uh, for an additional $9.99 a month, making the total cost $20.98 a month. Uh, while Game Pass Ultimate's price will increase from $16.99 to $19.99 a month, the service will offer more value through many new games available day and date. Among them is the upcoming release of Call of Duty, which has never before been available on subscription day and date. Oh, hold on. Hold on. They're saying... Yeah, wait. The, the... That's, That's not, not that doesn't, doesn't equate. They're, they're, they're saying, saying Game Pass for console yes. was ten dollars. Yes. You had to then also buy Xbox Live Gold yes. to play online, which yes. was an additional ten dollars. Yes. But Game Pass Ultimate was fifteen dollars. Yes. Which is cheaper. Yeah. And that's being increased. Yeah. And they're saying it. Yeah. So that's a horrible argument. <laughs> That's such a bad argument. The, the arguments don't get any better. Uh, <laughs> they go on. The FTC barely mentioned subscription at trial, instead focusing on the theory that Microsoft would withhold Call of Duty from Sony's console. The district court correctly rejected that theory, which is, how, which is now further eroded by Microsoft and Sony's 10-year agreement to keep Call of Duty on PlayStation, a contract Sony was thrilled to enter. <laughs> Microsoft also stated that the FTC has now uh, retrospectively shifted focus to a subscription service. Setting aside that it is common for businesses to change service offerings over time, the FTC case uh, in all of its alleged markets has allowed uh, has always been premised on a virtual foreclosure, i.e. that Microsoft would withhold Call of Duty from rivals and therefore harm competition, Microsoft said. But even in the alleged subscription market, Call of Duty is not being withheld from anyone who wants it, and there remains no evidence anywhere of harm to competition. Sony's subscription service continues to thrive, even as they put a uh, few new games into their subscription day and date, unlike Microsoft. The transaction thus continues to benefit co uh, competition and consumers, exactly what the district court, the district court correctly found it. But Microsoft is removing the day and date games yes. from people yeah their arguments are so bad yeah i this is real time me turning on microsoft i used to be <laughs> i used to, when when the first when the ftc shit first went down mm. i was like all on microsoft side because i truly believed in the the game pass model yeah and now i'm completely on the opposite side because they they really did the worst shit they could possibly yeah. do. For, they made it sound so good at the beginning, and now they're slowly removing all of the good things about just, Game Pass and making it Yeah, it's just getting worse and worse over yeah. time. Yeah, they're really uh, going back on their word like yeah. over and over again. It's horrible. Um, And like, you know, the whole bringing Sony subscription service into it, like, they're doing okay, and they don't have day and date you know, releases on I got news for you, Microsoft. Neither do you. That's the whole thing. That was your game. one thing. That was your one thing that like put you head and shoulders above Sony's stupid subscription service. Uh, and you blew it. You threw that out the window yeah. all because you had to own Activision. You didn't want Call of Duty. You wanted to buy King and have the mobile market. But really, you know, there was no, nothing wrong with owning Call of Duty as well. Not, not only did they start making you pay to play the game day one but also they don't have any games that release they don't have any first party games i know the last couple first party games that you had orza and freaking uh uh starfield and and redfall yeah you had to pay to play the game early mm -hmm. or 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 paid access so you fucked up microsoft yeah. i hope that they get slammed by the ftc for this that's absolutely insane. Yeah. No, it's... They keep, you know... They bought Activision Blizzard at the expense of Game Pass. They, they are screwing up Game Pass because of that stupid uh, that, merger. That's insane because yeah. that should make Game Pass a better value. Yeah. But instead, they're, 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 they're like working around all of their sh bullshit 
yeah. to try to, to suck more money out of you. They're trying to literally warp reality to make Game Pass work. Yeah, yeah. When, when really it's just, hey, Call of Duty's on Game Pass. That should be all you need to do yeah. to get people to want Game Pass is say, hey, now you could stream Call of Duty because you could not do that before. Yeah. And uh, if you want to play it, day one, you, all there you need is a Game Pass subscription, 20 bucks. That's great. Yeah. But instead, they're doing all this other wacky bullshit. Yeah. Pay to play it early, uh, fucking raising the subscription price and yeah. whatever because they already spent $76 million. So Billion. 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 Oh, so sorry, dollars, billion. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, uh, that's crazy. And I hope that they get uh, slammed by the FTC. Uh, 